Hey, Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps with Fight Hub TV. We're powered by Stagefront VIP, and I'm joined now with the one and only Liam Smith. Liam, it's good to see you here in Manchester. Thank you for cutting out some time right now just before you're about to head out. Um, first and foremost, you must feel obviously relieved now that the weigh-in's over. Uh, I guess you could say most of, the, most of the work is done at this point. Yeah, like the hard work's done, obviously, you know, <coughs> fights is... The hard work is making weight now. It's the exciting part, and it's now mm -hmm. it's the part we all enjoy. Mm -hmm. The crowd was heavy favorite for you today. How did that feel? Yeah, you know, it's um, I, I expected. You know, after the last bout, uh, and again, it's, if the last bout anything to go by Saturday is going to be exciting. It's going to be some atmosphere again. Mm -hmm. So who threw the towel at Bo Mac today? I didn't uh, I see that part. To be fair, I just saw when he threw it back. I'm not going to ask him who threw it at him, like, but <laughs> when he threw it back at it, Ben Shalom in the head, which is funny, like. <laughs> um, there was a lot said, obviously. Uh, th you and Chris were exchanging words on stage today. Do you, c do you care to tell us what was being said? I can't even remember. It's just been that much nonsense we've said for ages, you know. It's, been, it's just... It was... Chris said to me, you're going to have to use this crowd Saturday. I just thought, wow. You're going to have to use what? I'm going to have to use the crowd on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to use this crowd once the crowd started shouting for me, he mm. said I'm going to have to use the crowd, so I don't know why Chris is, um, look he's, he's saying lots of different things just to bypass the fact where he and I stopped you last time, mm -hmm. you've got to prove a point to you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? He's coming in very confident, pretty much in standard, in standard Eubank yeah. fashion. Yeah, is, yeah, that's what I mean, is he? No one knows and we'll see when he steps foot in the ring if he's confident, mm -hmm. um, but you know he's, he's saying these things. He's trying to blow it off as if it was a one shot out of hell and like um, he was dominating the fight, which again nobody seems to agree with. Um, so, you know, Chris is doing the things that he's going to convince himself that he's back favoured in this fight and he's got a big chance in this fight. He called it a, a miracle shot. Which one? Which one was the miracle shot? Like, I understand that phrase of. You know, I was getting beat up and I was on the ropes and then just swung out a big left hook and flattened him. Mm -hmm. I understand that and I, I, again, I've been in boxing long enough. Which one was the middle of the shot? And he won't answer me. Every question I've asked him, he won't answer me. You know what one it was? What, what shot was it? Because I, I, I threw a combination at you. Mm -hmm. The first right hand absolutely rocked you to your boots. The left uppercut stiffened you and the left hook put you on your backside. Mm -hmm. You got up. Like, again, middle of the shots and fights. Mm -hmm. You got up. You had a chance to continue and you couldn't. So that's why, I, you know, Chris can convince people it was a miracle, convince them it was a shot out of the gods, but he knows it wasn't. Do you feel confident that you're going to do the exact same thing you did the first time around? Yeah, I'm confident that I can nail Chris now. I'm confident it's in his head. He knows I can nail him as now as well. So I'm confident that, you know, I've got 12 rounds. I'm, I'm too good a fighter not to land my own shots in them 12 rounds. And, I feel as soon as I land, as soon as I, as soon as I put Chris where I want him again, I'll land them shots. What do you make of him changing his trainer mid-camp, leaving Roy Jones Jr. and um, teaming up with Terence Crawford's trainer, Bo Mack? I don't really care on it. If I say too much on it, I'll look bad. But I know I know the ins and outs of it. Um, and I'll just be dead honest with you. Bo Mack's here for money and that's it. Mm -hmm. Bo Mack will come here, get his money and get off. Roy Jones got... Roy Jones left because of money. If you want to beat me, total honest opinion. He didn't. He didn't part ways with Ray Jones because he felt Ray Jones was not the right, the right, you know, the right thing for him. Um, what can Bomac teach him in four weeks? Like, to be realistic, you know, I don't care how good the coach you are. He might be a good coach. He might not be. He might just be blessed with Terence Crawford. We don't know. He didn't do nothing for Amir Khan when he brought Amir Khan over here. So, you know, we 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 we'll see. I'm not. I'm not. Like I said, I'm not slagging fighters, fighters or coaches, but. I don't care about if he's got, like I said, he can have Terence Crawford in his corner, so I don't care. Mm -hmm. Obviously not looking past the night, but there's there's names that people would obviously like the winner on the night to face, such as Conor Ben. Is that a fight that you would you would consider? Yeah, look, I have to beat Chris, and then, and then I'm in a good position again, like I was last time I beat Chris, but <clears throat> it was hard for me because I knew I had the rematch clause, but I've got nothing after this. I can welcome all offers, I can welcome all comers, and... Um, I'm a free agent, so we'll see. Once I beat Chris, I'll wake up Monday morning and I'll be in a very good position again. Right. But well, yeah, touching on what you said, yeah, Conor Ben, Cal Brook, yeah. you know, any of the middleweights, any of the 154s even, you know, we'll see. We'll sit down and see what options I've got. Cal will be ringside Saturday. 
Yeah, he was ringside last time and, you know, I've sat, sat with him and spoke with him over fights before, but they've got to be me first. I'm pretty sure everyone will be, Conor Ben's going to be ringside, I believe. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure there'll be loads ringside, but, you know, we've got to sit down and negotiate fights first. Right, right. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it, as always. Um, any final words? Anything else you'd like to say? No, just obviously, obviously my support. I appreciate them. What's, and I, what's going to be your meal? Your meal of choice after a weigh-in? Uh, pasta. Pasta? Yeah, pasta, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I eat the same thing. I drink the same stuff. I do. I be hydrated properly. Pasta plates yeah. across the ray. Yeah, no, I got. I, I have me, my own rituals. <laughs> like, I, I, I do my own. Re- well, my nutritionist and my team do my own rehydration and we, we rehydrate properly. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Bye, bye, fans. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at. Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.